What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about two important things. The first one being the iOS 10.2 jailbreak that might be coming, but not for iPhone 7, pay attention. And the second one will be the uh, new version of FC365 from our manager application, an app that I was building since 2015, and you probably know about it, some of you at least, which is a custom-made farmer creation tool. We're going to get into it in a couple of seconds, but first I'm going to start with the jailbreak. I decided to make this video about all these two, because, yeah, you know, I didn't want to make two separate videos. I thought it will be much more better. Right, so remember when yesterday in a tutorial that I made, well, 21 hours ago, I told you to save your 10.2 blobs and I also shown you how to do that with the latest version of TSS Checker recommended by QWERTY WORRYUP, the creator of the 10.1.1 jailbreak. Well, you should do that and if you didn't see this video, then you should go ahead right now, put pause in here, go ahead and save your blobs and come back. And um, now QWERTY WORRYUP said something new on Twitter and quote, my fix for the issue in the 10.1 jailbreak will be to add support to 10.2. It will, however, not work on iPhone 7 on iOS 10.2, just 10 and 10.1, end quote. So what I understand from this post is that a jailbreak for iOS 10.2 might be coming, but not for the iPhone 7 because it's not compatible or due to different issues but for the other devices. On the iPhone 7, the iOS 10 and iOS 10.1 and presumably 10.1.1 will work. So yeah, this is what's happening, but don't get too hyped for the moment. Let's just wait for it to get confirmed. We don't know if he's going to release this jailbreak anyway, so let's just wait until he confirms the, um, the project for the iOS 10.2 jailbreak and Till that time, do not update, do not make any foolish decisions. For example, updating from 10.1.1 to 10.2. Do not do that. If you're on 10.1.1, then you should remain there. If you're on 10.0.2 or 10.1, you should remain there. Because the YALU for iOS 10.1.1 will come faster than a 10.2 jailbreak. This is something that we think. And you should not update without knowing what you're doing. But you should still save the iOS 10.2 blobs. So what you should do if you're or already on the 10.2? Uh, well, it's pretty damn simple. You remain on 10.2. Do not update to iOS 10.2.1 or 10.3, which I think will come on January 10, if my calculations are right. And um, do not forget that you should not update because if you do update at that time when the uh, signing window will be closed and will be closed if a jailbreak is ongoing, then you will not be able to downgrade back. Not even with saving blobs. So do not rely on the fact that you saved your blobs and you can switch back and forth to any iOS version you want. You can't. And um, in the eventuality of the future restore to work, then... Um, I don't know, you probably will be able to go back, but there are a couple of problems now with Future Restore, the tool we use for going back to any other version for which we have blobs, and so you don't wanna risk. So yeah, a jailbreak for iOS 10.2 might come, but don't take it that serious for the moment, at least not until it's confirmed. And of course, do not update if you're on 10.1.1, because a YALU jailbreak is ongoing, and you probably know the beta one, beta three. If you don't know about it, just look at this video right here. The iPhone SE support was added to 10.1.1 jailbreak. Check that out. So yeah, this is it with the jailbreak. I'm going to keep you updated on anything that happens about this 10.2 jailbreak as well as the 10.1.1, any ongoing update or anything important. But till that time, save your blobs. And now let's continue. Let's move on to the firmware manager. I released a new version of FC Run 65 firmware manager, the application that I created for making custom made firmware and any other uh, iOS related modifications. The version is 30. You can find it right here. It's called Waterville and it's already available, but I'm no longer uploading to Mega because I simply don't trust that host anymore. Uh, and I will be uploading on my own uh, CDN, Content Delivery Network. And you can download it directly from my secured CDN. As you can see, it simply goes on. Because some of you told me that Mega isn't operating in your country. For example, I heard it's not working in India and in some um, 
other Middle East countries for some reason, God knows why, and therefore I decided to, to put it on my own CDN that is working on any country that has access to the internet and that doesn't censor the internet in any way. Right, so this is it. Let me show you what is new in it. Basically, it is an update that focuses on the Lilo application. You probably remember when I released the uh, the Lilo, uh, the Lilo version 3. And it features that new design and new v modules for checking for jailbreaking and for iCloud bypass things and so on. And it's available on Toolbox, page 2, page 3, and build Lilo app version 3.0. The previous version uh, could build the 2.0 and had a bug. This one simply works, you press it, the uh, servo engine starts, uh, downloads from the repo, and then it compiles the application automatically. For those of you who don't have uh, Xcode or who don't care about the IPAs or don't trust them, you can build it on your own computer, and now you can simply load it with CDI Impactor to your device. You open it like this, connect your iPhone, like this and simply drop the app in here and log into your uh, credentials. So this is basically it and a couple of bug fixes and new settings. You can now use virtualization, I don't recommend it, my, my own computer doesn't support it, this one, because it's a, uh, an IMAC that's running VirtualBox, sorry bootcamp, and I cannot uh, get it running on it, but I can get it on my laptop. So you need a kind of beefy computer to use this. It's not important, just a feature for beefy computers, right? And the version can be checked also in here. It also contains a couple of bug fixes that um, you suggested using this report bug tool. So keep on using this tool if you find any bugs inside the app. And yeah, this is basically it with this application. The iOS 10 tools are in here if you want to decrypt the firmware or anything related. And you can use it, of course, with tutorials that I already have on the channel. So this is basically it, guys. You can download, as I said, the tool from the iPhone Wiki. My only source is the iPhone Wiki. This is my uh, my only download page. So if you find it on Skyport TV or whatever, or Mediafire or any other website, do not download it. Those are illegal builds of my application or copies and I do not support them and you might end up with a virus. So only download from this the iPhone wiki page because this is where I upload it um, and only from the download link from here. Always. So this is it guys. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm going to keep you updated on anything that happens and till the next time give this video a thumb up and peace out.